Saturday Shorts. Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Shorts number three. Uh, and in this one, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, a tool uh, to calculate the average for your crosses. Actually, it does it for you. You don't even have to uh, calculate it. Um, so we're going to have a look at that. I'll show you how to how to install it, how to use it. Uh, and it's free, which is great. Uh, now, you can donate uh, to the creator of the tool. It wasn't me that created it. You may be aware of it already, but if you're not, uh, this video will show you uh, how to install it, how to use it. And if you want to donate through PayPal, you can. So here we are in Google. Uh, there's other ways to to install this, you can you could go straight to the the Chrome uh, the store, uh, but if you don't if you don't know how to do that, just type in here BOTB average calculator, and you'll see here it comes up with the Chrome extension here already. Now it's also compatible with Microsoft Edge uh, browser, which is what I'm using. So there is also a video here. If you don't see that. Uh, let's say you're, you land here for some reason. If you click on Overview, uh, the Creator uh, Callum has left a video here which explains how to use it. It's a wee bit long-winded, so I'm just going to show you quickly how to use it. So you click on Get, Add Extension, and what that does is it adds the Crosshair extension, but the default setting on, on mine anyway is invisible. I'm going to show you how to how to turn that on. Okay. So I'll just quickly add some tickets. And I'll place them anywhere on the screen. Okay. Now you cannot see the extension yet because, as I said, it's, it's, it's invisible. If you click on this button here, where it says Extensions, you'll see we have the Crosshair extension. Now, I'm, I'm going to turn this on, and that means that it will always be visible on your uh, toolbar. Okay, let's open it, and it brings up this box. Now, you can choose the colour of the average cross to suit your screen. Uh, if you if you want to calculate the average, you just press this button here, and you'll see it puts one one cross on the screen, and that's your average. Now, if you want to to use this, uh, you couldn't straight away. You can just click there, and it will add another one uh, into your cart. So that's how you do it. Now, if you wanted to double check that. Uh, or, hide, or if you wanted to hide the coordinates, you can do that. Show coordinates brings them back on. Maybe you just want to hide it to place a few more tickets. That's an option for you. Now, the other thing it does is it shows the target uh, with all the zones. Now, what you can do with that is you can drag that and move it around um, just to suit yourself. It's just to show you an example of what it may look like. This doesn't guarantee you're going to find where the judges choose the ball uh, position. But if you want to, to use this, you can use it. The only thing is you cannot move the magnifying glass over there. If you want to remove it, you can remove it. Just like that. Um, if you click on the About crosshair, it explains a bit, uh, Callum explains a bit about the uh, what the program does. And you can also donate. It's free to use, but uh, if you want to send uh, something to um, uh, Callum, you can do that here uh, via PayPal if you want to show your appreciation. And that's it, guys. There's not much else to it. Uh, I think it's a great, a great little tool that that is that is uh, provided here. Um, really fantastic. I know uh, one of my customers was asking about this. Uh, Nigel, if you're watching, uh, this is how you do it. Thanks, guys, and uh, cheers now. Bye.